The Detroit Federation of Teachers is currently holding its monthly meeting with some major issues being discussed. The union is holding a vote regarding opinions moving forward that could include a strike over COVID-19 concerns. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper joins us now with the latest on this. Rudy. Linda Allen, that vote underway right now. We are outside the Fisher building where you see a few demonstrators have gathered. One of those signs says don't reopen schools until we're safe from COVID. They came here because Detroit Public Schools has an office inside this building. Now earlier today, some teachers taken to the streets to protest. <laughs> The car parade uh, started at Northwestern High School near Midtown Detroit. Demonstrators with signs and chalk demanding that all schools remain closed until the pandemic is contained. They say it's just too risky because the coronavirus right now, some educators refusing to return to the classroom. We're going to be organizing to do everything we can to make sure they are closed and that the Detroit Public Schools starts completely online. That is the only safe option we have. That is the only option to protect our lives and our students' lives and the lives of everybody in the city. Any school open, any classroom open will become a vector of spread for the COVID-19. It may not be the first or second day, but it will happen. We want to shut that down before it happens. And let's be clear, today's vote is for the authorization of a safety strike. So this does not mean teachers will strike immediately. Now the union president, Terrence Martin, says teachers are willing and eager to teach online. Now voting, we expect to go until around 6.30. Of course, we will continue to monitor the results from that vote and we'll bring it to you later in our newscast. Live in Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. And time is ticking. We're only a couple weeks out from the start of school. Rudy, thank you for the live report. Yep.